Hey everybody, this is Brain Stuff. This thing happening here, and I'm Ben, and you're you, and let's imagine that you and I go on a walk together. And we're walking around, the weather is nice, the birds sound good, uh, we say let's keep going, we're having a great time. So we walk even further than we intended, and we are having so much of a good time that you look at me and say, hey Ben, uh, let's dream big, let's walk around the world. And I say, of course, but wait, how long would it take? How long would it actually take someone to walk around the world? There are a couple of different ways we could look at this, so let's start with some math. Picture the Earth, imagine the Earth. Uh, it's about 24,901 miles across at the equator. So if you're walking, uh, you know, we have to admit that people walk at different speeds. So for the sake of argument, let's assume an average of 3.1 miles per hour for the adult human being. With those numbers, if we never stop for anything, if we never go faster or slower than 3.1 miles per hour, if we somehow walk in a straight line, it will take us 8,032.6 hours to walk around the world. That's like 334 to 335 days. That's less than a year. Go us. But that's impossible, right, for human beings because we have to stop constantly to do human things like to sleep, to eat, so let's play with the numbers a little bit. Let's say that we're still walking in a straight line. We're still going 3.1 miles per hour constantly, but once a day, we're stopping wherever we are and passing out for eight hours to sleep. This means that if we factor in just sleep alone, it's going to take 502 days to walk around the planet. It's not 330, but it's, it's still, it's not a bad number. But 502 days, is still the nicest thing you can say about it is that it's a very ambitious number because uh, aside from superpowers no one really can walk in a straight line around the planet stuff gets in the way when you really try to do it you run into things like mountains and deserts and oh right oceans those are tough to walk over so for the people who have attempted to walk around the world they've done approximations of this you know you could maybe fly to south america the very tip of south america walk up to alaska somehow get to russia and then walk as far as you can into western europe and then maybe go to africa so for instance people can also maybe fly a plane to every continent and walk across that continent. It's still a tough, tough adventure. Uh, here are some examples. Between 1910 and 1923, a Romanian guy with the kick-ass name of Dumitru Dan got three of his friends and a dog to travel around the world with him. It took 13 years. Things got in the way, their journey was somewhat circuitous at times, and it was a dangerous adventure. In fact, all three of his human companions died. One from a mountainous fall in China, one from an opium overdose in India, and one from a leg ailment in Florida. It also would have taken a lot less time if World War I hadn't broken out. Before we go on, I know what everybody's thinking. You're asking the same question I was asking. What happened to the dog? No one knows. Another example, in 1970, a guy named Dave Kunz decides to walk around the world starting from his home in Minnesota. It takes him about four years and three months, a little bit over that. Of that four years and three months, four of those months were spent recovering from an ill-fated run-in with bandits in Afghanistan, so it also affected his ultimate time. And these are just a few examples of people who really did try some approximation of walking around the world. This is what our answer ends up being. It ends up being two things. Number one, if you had a team of people surrounding you, swarming you, throwing water on you, feeding you all the time, and you only slept eight hours a day, and you were kind of comfortable with just going when you have to go without stopping, if you could do all that, it would take 502 days to cross the planet if you could go in a straight line. However, what we see is when people actually attempt this, it takes much, much, much longer. And this all makes me think, what's the furthest you've ever walked? Have you hiked the Appalachian Trail? Have you walked across the continent you live on? I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. Uh, like this video if you liked it, subscribe, and as always, stay tuned for more brain stuff.